Hi everyone and welcome back to Liz Sews. I have another Bra Builder Spotlight video for you today showcasing this lovely knit print called Sun King. So this is a bamboo knit jersey if you are not familiar with Bra Builder's fabrics uh, and it is super soft and slinky very nice against the skin. It feels wonderful. It is a little bit harder to work with, especially for me since it's not a fabric that I am particularly used to using, but I think it's worth it. It definitely gives you a lot more variety uh, to be able to use these really lovely prints like this in bras versus just lace or solid fabric. So the Sun King design is really pretty. It sort of reminds me of a Fabergé egg or of course, you know, Versailles, uh, which I think is where she was going with the name of Sun King. Uh, it's this really nice delicate design with lots of purples and yellows and just really sweet. So I have two different color options to show you with this fabric. The first one being golden. So golden is part of her new color collection. I really like golden as a color. It has this nice sort of like ochre tone to it. It's a little bit brown, a little bit mustard, but it might not be to everybody's liking. So she has also offered some other colors as well. And the one that I have to show you is called Ink, and this is a new color for bra builders. So Ink is this really nice, deep, um, sultry, navy blue color and i think the, that the navy looks really cool with this design as well so you kind of have your options on this whether you want to go gold or you want to go more blue so what comes standard in the bra builders notions kit of course is the 5 8 of an inch pico elastic the 3 8 of an inch pico elastic underwire channeling twill tape and a hook and eye closure. Uh, you have some options when it comes to straps. You can choose whether you need no strap, half an inch strap, or five eighths of an inch strap. I always add the half of an inch strap, which does add a little bit extra to the total. And then of course, if you get the strapping elastic, it comes with rings and sliders that are the same width as your strap. And most of the time they are dyed to match. So in this case, I have them dyed into that inky color. In terms of auxiliary fabrics that you would get in your kit you have the option in terms of auxiliary fabrics that you would get in the kit you would also receive some sheer cup lining uh, i love using this stuff all the time i use it a lot in my lace bras but it works particularly well with the bamboo jersey as well because it gives you that strength and st support that you need behind the jersey to make a wired cup bra but it's really lightweight. It still maintains a lot of breathability and it's something that keeps your brow feeling very thin. Um, so great in the summertime or when the, the temperature starts, starts rising, I love making sure that I'm using thinnest materials as possible. And then of course you also get some back band material. You have the choice of either a medium or heavyweight power net. Now, a lot of times when working with this bamboo, I would go ahead and cover my back band in the bamboo as well. So you got the cohesive look across the entire band. So this is not something that you're going to see from the outside of the bra. Uh, and this one is coming in frost, which is their standard untied white color. So frost on both of these materials. So now that we've taken a look at the kit, let's see how I've gone ahead and used this kit to create a bra. So for this bra, I've gone ahead obviously and used the golden colorway just because I wanted to sort of lean into that, that ornate Versailles Sun King look to this by adding extra gold. Uh, and I've chosen to do a pattern simplicity 8229. Um, and this is a two cup, two piece cup though it probably doesn't look like it from the outside. It is a two-piece cup with a vertical seam running down the center of it. I've supplemented with a little bit of spacer foam on here. I had some issues with the spacer foam just stretching out. Um, typically, I, I tend to use cut and sew foam more often, so I don't, I'm not as adept at using spacer foam. <laughs> so it's a two-piece cup with a vertical seam in there. And because the bamboo jersey has such a high percentage of stretch, I was able to stretch it over top of that cup um, to give me sort of that effect of a seamless look on the outside of the bra. So it looks a little 
malformed right here, but once you get a bust behind that and pushing it out, what you get is a really smooth cup that looks appears to be seamless, even though you do have that vertical seam running down in the foam. And of course, as I had mentioned, I go ahead and use the bamboo on the, the bridge, the side cradle, as well as the back band. So you get that cohesive look of the jersey going all the way straight across the bra. Then on the inside of the bra is where all the technical aspects are happening. So I've got the power net on the back band here. I've got a sheer cup lining along the frame and bridge. And as I had mentioned, uh, cuttons are spacer foam in the cups themselves. So when you're cutting out the bamboo jersey, one thing that I like to do that helps me get a little bit cleaner of a look once this is worn is that I will cut the piece the same for both the, the lining and the exterior. And then once I've done that, I will go ahead around my bamboo jersey portion and cut off maybe about an eighth of an inch around all edges of it. That way it has to stretch a little bit and that can keep it from bagging out. So when it's unworn right here, you can see how that, that fabric is a little bit bagging out, but then when it's stretched and put on to the body, it pulls taut and it looks a lot more smoother. And so that's a nice little trick when working with the bamboo fabric. So this is the Simplicity 8229 bra. And then to go along with that, and then to go along with that, I have made some Studio Custura Stella hipster bottoms to go with it. So I just kind of liked this I just kind of liked this look. It looked very effortless and chic, especially with this sort of seamless bra top. Um, so for the Stella panties, I just tried to, to line up my motif along the center portion here. I was not entirely successful. <laughs> I always try to cut my things on the fold and I think that I need to start cutting things like mirroring over my pattern piece. So instead of cutting it on the fold, cutting an entire pattern piece, that way I can tell if things are a little bit <laughs> That way I can tell if things are just a little bit askew. Um, but for the top of the panty here, I've used this really thin looped elastic. You can see um, when you're ordering panty kits from bra builders, you get the options of what elastics you want for the different, the legs and the waist. So you can choose a different thing for the waist than you do for the legs. So I've chosen this skinny looped elastic for the waist. I think this little delicate loop up there looks really, really pretty. Um, this one does have a plush and sort of like a knot so nice side to it. So pay attention to that when you're putting it on and you apply it just like you do Pico elastic with that little um, delicate edge peeking up over the top. And then for the legs of this, I've chosen fold over elastic. Fold over elastic is probably my favorite elastic to use on underwear. It's what I use most frequently and I, I feel really comfortable with it. Um, but I'm trying to branch out and use some different things lately so I can, can show it off to you and show the different types of elastic. I can't just always do everything in fold over. So yeah, I've chosen the, I think this is the three quarters of an inch fold over elastic. Again, dyed in the golden color to match the bra itself. So I hope that you have enjoyed a look at this Sun King kit, um, giving you some ideas of how you can maybe use the, the bamboo in different ways. And I will see everyone next time. Take care.